Yo, what is going on guys, Mace here, and I'm back on the mic with another video. Now today, we'll be going over the best SCG class setup after the new patch that just came out a couple days ago on Vanguard. Now in this patch, some of the ammo rounds for this gun did get nerfed, so I do have an updated class over the SCG that's going to help you guys out a lot. Now before we do get into this, make sure you guys do go down below, drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and turn on those post notifications so you don't miss a single upload on the channel. Guys, I have updated this class setup to actually make it much better after it did get nerfed, and I did add some a little adjustments to this to make it even more overpowered, and I guarantee this setup is going to drop you guys an easy V2 rocket, especially this weekend, especially on the new map of shipment. Now without further ado, let's get straight into the gameplay, and then I'll be showing you guys the set up at the end of the video. See you there. Yo, let's go guys. Here's the now. STG. This is so in Baker.
No way you got him in swan shot. There's no way this is working. Closing with Charlie. Oh, nice. I swear I like it. What? All right, yo, I hope you did enjoy that insane gameplay. We just went crazy on shipment with the SCG. Oh my god, now let's get straight into the setup right now. What we do use here is the recoil booster. Now, personally, I just use this just because of the fire rate, and I, I like it a lot because because it the fire rate just increases by so so much. And I'll be I, I get killed super quickly without anyone just reacting. It's it's crazy. Next thing you use here is a 760 mm for the barrel. Um, of course, you're gonna your gun's gonna be highly accurate and controllable, reduce gun bob and your scope sway, as well as increased damage range, which is very important for the SCG. And by the damage range, I mean that's crazy. 21% is absurd on this weapon. That too, you're getting a 60% adjustment for the recoil control. The next thing we got here is the G16 2.5 times optic. Now this optic has been a game changer for me i don't know like i've been super accurate with this recently i do recommend you try it out right now i've really been rocking slate reflector for so long and i've been recently trying out different optics and this one right here is perfect i'm not missing a shot i'm super accurate and i'm getting a lot of kills with this so i do recommend you try out and put this on right now the next thing we do have here is a cross neck uh, folding. This does help with the sprint to fire speed and the movement speed. Now, since my gun is only level 63, if you guys do have this gun maxed out, I do highly recommend you put out this weighted attachment right here. This is just going to help with the aiming stability, recoil accuracy, and the flinch resistance, which, I mean, just by looking at those stats, it is overpowered, man. Um, if you do have it maxed out real quick, if you do have it at level 68, definitely put this one right on right here. And for the proficiency, I do I use sleight of hand. There's a lot of things you can really use for this. Personally, I love to have my gun reloaded very quickly, so I have to always engage in these gunfights. Um, so yeah, you can have either sleight of hand or even if you want, you can even have the vital proficiency. Now for the kit, you guys can run honestly whatever you want. Um, I do recommend if you don't have scavenger unlocked yet, um, definitely put that fully loaded on. But honestly, if you do want to, you know, last have your bullets for a long, longer amount of time in the game, put this attachment on right here. Um, another one you could have on is the surplus, or does give you additional kill XP. And then another one you guys can also put on is maybe the equipment dexterity if you want to keep getting your equipment. Now for the magazine, I do use the 30 year old mag, so the Gorenko, it's just the first option right here. Just because it does help with it, it does increase it by 8, recoil control and accuracy, movement speed, ADS, and the fire rate, which is, I mean, that's literally overpowered, guys. Um, if you do have this one unlocked, if you do have this gun maxed out, definitely, even, definitely put this on right now. 
Um, but if you don't have this unlocked, I do recommend these 30 round mags right here. For the ammo type, I do use a lengthen just because it helps a lot with the bullet velocity. And this just means that um, all your shots are going to be hitting. You're going to get absolutely no hit markers at all and any type of range possible. Um, it is very overpowered, man. Velocity is super important, especially on the SDG. Lastly, we got the M3 ready grip. This just helps the ADS sprint to fire and the aim walking movement speed. So pretty much, guys, this set Pretty much guys this setup is going to help a lot with the recoil control and the ads so it's the best balance setup for you guys to use and it's honestly one of the best setups i have right now for the sdg if you did enjoy this video definitely do drop a like hit that sub button those turn on those post notifications so you don't miss a single upload on the channel i will see you guys in the next one